G'day guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. What have we got to review? We've got this non-alcoholic tequila inspired spirit Miss Agave by Barnes and Brown, established 2022 distilling company. It's in a 700 ml bottle, green agave botanical, number four there. Um, number five there. Once open, reseal the cap securely and store in refrigerator. Do not store open. Once open, consume within 12 weeks. Well, it'll be very interesting to see what it tastes like. Um, made in Australia from at least 99% Australian ingredients. Um, I won't read off that side just yet. And I'll see what I think of it. It's, it's, it's weird looking, like I'm not too sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but it's like this sort of murky, murky, dirty watercolour. Can I find where it splits? <laughs> Am I gonna need to use scissors? I got it. I got it. I got it. Feeling a bit like Doka Ryan, who does these videos. Can I? I'm trying to do it without like pulling it up like he does, but I'll just do it, do it the old Smith City way. Gotta love that little pop sound. Okay, it's got a weird smell, sort of on the cap. Mmm. <laughs> Don't go right, it's time for a shot. <laughs> I love his videos. Before I came away, like, he was getting me through some evenings of just doom scrolling his channel with his silly jar um, experiments, if you will. So anyway, I'll just do one down the hatch and then I might tip, an, tip another one in and just sort of have a little bit more of a go around. So this is the Miss Agave Tequila Inspired Non-Alcoholic Spirit. Dibosia. <laughs> hmm. I think it would well it would work well mixed in something. Peppery. Um, yeah, you see, like, without, like, knowing what this is and someone poured it to me or whatever, um, I can definitely tell that it's not non-alcoholic, um, first and foremost. I'd be able to tell that it's something to do with tequila. Oh, I hate those. I don't even know what they are, but they're the bane of my existence. They're like a cross between like a giant march fly and a cockroach. I have no idea what they are, but they keep making their bloody way into the caravan. And I'm sick of them. Absolutely sick of them. I'll have fun killing him later. Anyway. So I'm going to use this in a mocktail on Sunday the 20th, make a peach mocktail. Anyway, I'm going to have another go at this. Oh. 
not much really much of a smell to it, I guess. But um, hmm, tart like it's 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 very interesting. It's very interesting. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I'm enjoying it more just sipping it than I did just down the hatch. Um, bit citrusy, a bit rindy, like it's got some pepperiness to it um, and, and bitterness to it. Um, but like, yeah, it's got a bit of sort of like rindness to it. Um, the rind of like a lime or a lemon. Or both. Much better sipping it than it was just straight down the gullet. To be honest, like I could sit here, you've had some ice, some ice pour that in I probably could drink the whole bottle so drinkability wise probably an eight maybe mm, 7.8 all right so cunningly crafted delicious <laughs> this delicious finely crafted non-alcoholic liquor is inspired by the unique complex flavors of tequila Enjoy aromas of distilled agave, spirit, chamomile, and black pepper. Well, that's what I got most of when I just did down the hatch straight away. Like, just got hit with this pepperiness. Uh, savory flavors, uh, erythral. Is that right? Ethereal with Mexican berber minerality and slightly spicy aftertaste using cocktails margaritas slammer and sunshine bundle queensland australia i like okay I'm just, i have got some oh, did i put that in the fridge or not or is it still in the pantry no i did i did i did i did so I'm just going to just just going to see what this is like. Might just do one shot of it. And just see what it's like with the old swept soda water. I reckon it's going to go everywhere. So I'll do it over the sink. No, surprisingly not. All right, so this is this is with just soda water. Hmm. With the soda water, cuts through some of that pepperiness. Kind of tastes a little bit like a watered down G and T. Not bad. I swear to God. Oh. I don't know what they are, but I'm sick of them. <laughs> I literally have no idea what the insect is, but they're, they're everywhere. You know, you have the... 
you have the door open just trying to get some breeze into the caravan as soon as you have that open you know you might get two or three that just find the way in here you close the door again and then they're flying around everywhere That's actually really, that's actually really nice with the soda water. Really, really nice. Now, a lot of the drinking experience, like, you know, there is something special about buying like a bottle of alcohol and, you know, sort of the ritual behind it and sort of getting involved with you know other people and and whatever but if you're someone that needs to stop drinking for health reasons or you're trying to cut back or you're a recovering alcoholic or whatever but you still m miss the the um externals of uh the drinking experience that you get when you're drinking with people or parties or or whatever or even just by yourself. Um, yeah, I could probably see why you buy this. And it's something that you'd probably get, like that you'd probably want to buy again if you bought it and you were someone that wasn't drinking alcohol. Yeah, that, that, a bit of like just some lime juice or like a wedge of lime, pop that in. And that would be really good. I think it's going to... I know it's not bourbon. And it's not going to be exactly like the cocktails we had at the Veronica's. But I think it's going to do do the job. Be interesting, like, because obviously it's got a peppery note to it. Um, sort of what that's going to do to the, to the peach flavour. Be interesting anyway. Look, I'm gonna, if I'm going, going back for it again, like that's, yeah, it's saying something, isn't it? That'll be my last one. There he is. Don't you even dare, mate. What are they? Honestly, I I don't know what they are, but they can rack off. <clears throat> Probably should wash my hands after that. Yeah, where was I? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to talk about it by itself. Uh, rating wise, by itself, as a like straight shot um, drinkability 7 rating 7.5 is what my, my conclusion is after I've you know sat sat on that thought for 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 a bit um, in this though this drink by itself 
with the mixture of that. I'll probably give it an eight. Sort of just a very sort of weak gin and tonic flavour. Ooh. Anything else on here? Barnes and Brown dot co. It's weird that it, yeah. Best before. Normally, like, spirits and stuff last a fair while, so the fact that this goes off in, or best before, um, <laughs> imagine I just had a, just, I just thought about that just saying, had a just eaten that bug, <laughs> would have made good, good YouTubing, these are the bane of my existence, and just, <laughs> you guys would love that for sure, um, So, ingredients is water, agave syrup, natural flavours and extracts, acidity, regulator, citric acid, salt, preservatives, potassium, sorbate. And I do, do like the label of it. Oh, God. I'd love one of those little... I don't know. Are they Chinese or... Chinese fans? Are they Chinese? Asian fans, don't want to discriminate. I'd, I'd love one right now. Just <sighs> maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Anyway, this movie, this movie, <laughs> this movie, <laughs> credits start to roll. Um, this video has gone for probably far too long now, so I'm gonna catch on the next.